welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. So first and foremost, I really want to apologize to everybody that I missed last Wednesday's show. I know on Monday I said I was going to be doing it, and normally I would, but um, this girl right here, this one, was involved in a car accident, and I was rear-ended um, prior to last Monday's show, which is why last Monday I was not able to connect words and um, just so stinking uncomfortable on the show last Monday. But I tried to be a big girl and do my show. <laughs> And if you go back and watch last Monday's show, you're going to go, oh my God, that makes so much sense. So I had a major, I still have it. I had a major concussion um, after the car accident and I'm still having a moment. It's taking a moment to um, connect words or come up with words. And uh, those concussions, they're no joke. That, that, that floater eye thing, like I see things all the time. You know, you know what things I'm talking about, like angels and stuff. But to see those little floaters all the time, oh my goodness. And then the headache and the ringing in the ears. How do football players do it? I just don't even know. And then there are like, I was, um, I don't remember if I said I was rear-ended, but I was rear-ended. And so um, yeah. <laughs> I can't even, my body is like just it's, it's I can't. It'll get better. Everything heals um, with the appropriate amount of sleep um, and care. I'm getting excellent care and um, a lot of sleep, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> so I know everything will heal. It's just going to take that little minute to get back in it. Okay, so for today's show, I'm going to do the best I can to help answer your questions and um, connect you with loved ones on the other side. I need to tell you guys, Sugar Hill Gang, someone on the other side just said Sugar Hill Gang and I to the beat, bop, bippity beat. I know those are not the words. Please don't come telling me those are not the words. Um, to the bang, bang, boogie, up, jump the boogie, to the boogity beat. Now I am Super Mike and I or super or something, and I'm here to say, I don't even know. You guys, the reason I crack up when I sing is because I could never pull that song out and just know that song. And as the words are coming out of my mouth, all I can think is, are those the words to that song? <laughs> if they're not, oh, well, somebody, whoever that song is for, Somebody on the other side wants to um, give you that song. And the other song is Respect by um, the Queen, um, because I can't think of her name. And it's obviously R-E-S-P-C-T, find out what that means to me. And I don't want to sing that because she needs mad respect and I cannot respect that song. So I want to say hello to some of the people online, Heather, Caroline, Ariel, Sal, hey Sal, um, Amy, um, I'm kind of trying to go back through the call log and see who else is here, um, now I'm coming for Patrick, hey Patrick, Caroline, um, Estella, hey Estella, I want to thank, there are a couple people um, that did call and check on me and have been checking on me. Uh, due to, you know, what happened, um, you know, and so thank you so much. Um, I'm tr truly, truly, truly grateful for that more than you could even imagine. And I want to thank Jess and Sky for coming and hanging with me on um, Thanksgiving because I was in no condition to go any place. So they took one for the team and they came and hung out and, um, 
we had, I think, a good day. I did. I just sat there, <laughs> like, trying to pick up a cup. <laughs> it's a ridiculousness. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to callers. I When I call your area code, when I say your area code, please tell me your name and let me know where you're calling from. And then a one question or connection with someone on the other side is perfect. And again, I'm going to do the best I can if it takes me a little bit longer to connect today. I, the connections are coming, just my words aren't always right there. That's it, right there. So here we go. I want to see what, um, oh, thank you, Caroline. Um, yeah, I survived my, oh, Patrick says he survived his football years. I will too. I know, I know. I can't, I just don't get how football players get banged around after this, like, that's body on body impact and those concussions football players get. Now I have a whole new level of respect and um, compassion. I mean, I was always compassionate about it. And now I have a whole new level of um, that respect and compassion for it. <clears throat> uh, uh, Patrick, prayers. Uh, everybody, let's all send out prayers to Patrick for a procedure he's going to have done. Um, Patrick, I'm going to, um, the procedure is going to go well. It's going to go perfect. I get a yes. Let's strengthen that. Patrick, you're going to have amazing results from your procedure. I get a yes. Let's strengthen that. Hey, Mimi, how are you? Okay, we're going to go to the first caller who is 780780. Oh, 780. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony. It's uh, Jake from, calling from Canada. God, Godspeed on your healing. Hey, well, thank you. How can I help you today, love? Uh, I just connect with my mom. Uh, I just want to find out um, if I'm still doing the right things I need to do right now and to uh, persevere with, uh, with all the chaos that's going on in the world right now. Okay, so the first thing I hear is, yeah, she's here. She's in, in like Flynn. Flynn McGinn. I don't know what that is. Um, but it? the song that's coming through, the first song that's coming through when you ask if you're doing the, the the right thing, the first thing I hear is the song, more, more, more. More, 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 tell me how do you like it. That song, but the more, more, more part, whatever you're doing, continue to do it and keep it um, moving. Keep, keep, not keep it moving. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't stop. Um, do more, more, more. It is, it is making it an, uh, it is affecting change. It is affecting change. And it's going to, um, it is good. You are good. It is going to see a change. You are going to see a change. And just not to get into that whole end of things, um, but there's a lot that's not being brought to the mainstream media that is happening behind the scenes um, that is uh, changing some of these things. So for those of you who don't know, without me saying names, the person who runs Canada has been giving testimonial for those of you who don't know. So, yes, I love it. <laughs> And for those of you who do know, good for you. <laughs> um, we're going to see a, a few future predictions here. We're going to see some of us are going to hear about and see a lot of testimonial uh, test, uh, test, testimonials coming in um, by those who who are, who should be giving, who should be having to do that. And I am speaking kind of cryptically and just for those who know, you know, um, those who have, and the way spirit is saying it to me is those who have um, performed atrocities upon its people will not go without reckoning. 
So please hold on to that and know that it's coming in. You may not hear about these things. It doesn't mean they are not happening. Okay. So, and these could be spiritual trials. Paul Pelosi wears his panties with a hammer and then it's caught in the press. These are spiritual trials. Those are like spiritual outings. That's God saying, not on my time, demon, not on my time. So can, does everybody want to sing the Paul Pelosi song with me? Paul Pelosi wears his panties with a hammer. And we all know what that means, right? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Or maybe that's what's right with me. I don't know. All I'm saying is, um, yes, keep doing what you're doing. Everybody who's praying for um, a better place world, keep doing it. It is it is coming. We just have to hold hold strong and keep our thoughts and our minds in the right place. Okay? Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Your mom also wants to say she loves you. Keep keep up the good work. Um, it seems hard and it seems arduous, but it is going to pay off. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jay. I'm so grateful that you called in and thank you for being a part of the show today. I'm grateful for your time and your love and your healing that's going on with him and uh, take care. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I'm going to go uh, mm, to 610. 610, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hi there. Can you hear me? Uh, this is, yes, I can hear you. This is Sonia going from Pennsylvania. Hey, Sonia. How can I help you today? Yeah, I am sorry about your um, accident, and I hope you recover very quickly. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can totally relate because I also had a um, surgery procedure done um, this past Wednesday. So I'm sort of in the same boat like you, but probably you have a bit more aches and pain than me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think no matter what you go through, it's it's traumatic to the body. So when you go through a procedure, I don't care if it's getting a tooth pulled or whatever it is, um, it can create quite a bit of trauma and, and whatever to the body. So I'm, I'm sorry about your procedure also. And for anybody going through procedures right now, and there are quite a few people doing that, Patrick and Sonia and, and anybody else, um, let's double down on that healing. The, the healing process for your procedures will be quick. Oh, I hear a yes. Um, let's strengthen that. The, the, you will completely heal. I get a yes, and let's strengthen that also. Okay, Sonia. Sonia, how can I help you today? What do you need? What you want? What you need? Okay. Um, I just wanted to... Um... See if you're picking up um, anything concerning my existing job. How do you see things progressing? Because, like I said, it's a great opportunity. Um, I've been there about, you know, six months going on seven, but of course I had to take off some time for the little procedure I had done. Um, I don't know if you have a connection, if you're picking up anyone on my side or anybody for me that have any messages for me at this time. Okay, so what let's let's go with the job um, to start with. If somebody pops in, I do see a woman who's much fuller here, a, a fuller, fuller woman. Um, but the message for okay. your job is everything is going good. Um, when you get back to work, you're going to have to hit the ground running. There won't be that leg time or that like pick up time to get back into the the the. Um, the groove of it, you're just going to have to hit the ground running. You're going to have to keep going. Don't, um, they're not going to like, when you come back, they're not going to like really coddle you. So you really have to hit the ground running when you get back into work. And, but your job is going well. Um, don't, uh, don't, uh, worry. I'm just going to use the word. Don't worry about your job. Everything is going to be good there. Okay. 
Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you, love. <clears throat> thank you so much for calling. No problem. Thank you. You are so welcome. Okay, appreciate it. Absolutely, my pleasure. And happy healing. I hope you heal quickly. And thank you. Um, you thank you so much. And healthfully. Okay, in a moment, I'm going to take 814. And then, um, but until I take 814, I think there's Lolly online asked, my boss is still going through his awful divorce, and it's costing a fortune. Is he going to give me a Christmas bonus this year? <laughs> oh, Lolly, I love you. Um, yes, it might not be what you expect. I don't know that it's going to be. It's it might not be what you expect, but it will. There will be something. He, regardless of his divorce and any incumbent. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't think that's the right word. Any um, bitterness that is might be might be developing from that. He's still he's holding a good heart and he wants to take care of the people who have taken care of him. And I do feel like he is going to um, even if it's it, it, it might not be as much or what you expect, but it will be there. OK, so for everybody else who is asking questions on um, line, I will be getting to you. I'm going to try to go back and forth between callers. And if you would like to call in the numbers 845-277-9131. And online questions. And remember, this does air on WSCS, Rude Rangers TV, um, almost every single podcast and radio stations and many other streaming channels. So um, so please um, bear that in mind when we are, when I, when they, are, when answers are being questioned, question, question <laughs> says, you know what I'm saying, folks? <laughs> yes, all of that. <laughs> all of it. Okay, Mo D. Hi, Mo. Uh, Kavita, hello. Um, Genevieve, hi from the jungle in Costa Rica. Genevieve's on vacation in Costa Rica, everybody. How many of us wish we were there with her? I do. Hey, Sal. Um, so, goodness gracious, I'll do your question next. Just give me one moment to get to 814. 814. What's your name? Where are you calling Hello. from? Hello. Hi. Hi, this is Amy calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Amy, how can I help you today? I'm calling. I I got a, a verbal job offer in November, um, the beginning of November, and I was calling to see. They're working on my background check. I was calling to see when you would see anything coming um, that when it would go through. Okay, so, so the first thing I I'm can start hearing, my new job. <clears throat> the first thing I'm hearing is the 14th, 15th. I see the 13th, but I heard the 15th. So between the 13th and the 15th, I feel like everything should uh, pull, pull, pull in place. Now the 13th to the 15th might mean that's when you're actually starting the position. I know that seems a little bit off, like a, a bit of a ways away still. Um, but with the holiday season and some other things going on and just not enough people working any place, um, <clears throat> I feel like it might take a little bit of time. I do feel like you are going to hear something between the first and the fifth, but I don't know why they're saying the 13th to the 15th is when, when things are going to pop. Um, meaning maybe that's when you're going to okay. start, but I do feel like I'm concerned. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm concerned that my current place is going to try to hold me. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't understand that. Um, my current place of work trying to hold me because it's a, it's a transfer to another agency. Oh, okay. Now I understand that. Thank you for elaborating. 
Um, yeah, they don't. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, they don't necessarily want to let you go. And that might be part of the what uh, what's going on right now. But I do feel like with a little... I'm just hearing the word negotiation. It's going to happen. I want you to keep your will very strong. Do you really want this new position? Do you really want it? Yeah, you do. Yeah. You are ready to get the F out of where you are. You want to. Yeah, that's could, exactly I, how I would say that. Yeah, you're ready to get the fly and fudge sickles out of where you are. So here's what I'm going to do. Anything stopping or blocking her from getting this new position has been cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that. And it's I get a lump in the throat and um, right here where this um, chakra is, that is for fear. So we're going to clear that. And the the um, whatever, we're just going to clear that. You're going to get the position. It's just somebody's lollygagging around. <laughs> Lolly, that makes me laugh because of your name. I know you guys, I am like so spacey right now, but it's okay. Um, somebody is intentionally, that's not the right word. That's, I can't even say that word on air. Um, somebody is intentionally. I would agree that they would intentionally try to hold me. Yeah, I would. Yeah. But they're, oh, it's not going to be successful. It's I just going to prolong it a little bit. And then once everything goes through, it's going to go really fast. So be prepared. And it, if things get a little bit difficult in your, um, current position i'm hearing the song hold on like hold on help is on the way so if things get more chaotic it's because they know you're about to jump ship and they're being ratchet about it so um so don't don't worry about it it is going to go through and you're going to be so happy once it does go through okay sweetie okay Excellent. Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful I was able to uh, take your call and help you this morning. I'm going to go up 917. You are next. And then I'm going to for but first, um, I'm going to answer the question that goodness gracious has posted on um, YouTube. So if you if you're watching on uh, TV or listening on a podcast and you'd like to join us live it's every Monday and Wednesday at noon um yes so goodness gracious um hi thank you <laughs> thank you so much for the compliment that's very kind of you any new info on significant partner you see coming in for me in January I hope you have a speedy recovery. Thank you so much. Sending you love. I'm taking that love and light. I am soaking it up right now. Um, the person coming in January. Yes, it might be toward the end of January. I literally see like toward the last two days and then I hear February. So from like the 30th to the 2nd, keep that time frame really open. I feel like that's going to be a good time frame for you regardless. On the 15th of January, something's going to happen that you're going to think of it as a little bit of a setback. It's not a setback at all. It's a set up, not a setup like somebody's setting you up like, um, like you're getting set up for another like level is what I want to say. It's a set up, like we're setting you up for something really good here. So let's say you think I'm wrong and that's okay. And you meet somebody beginning to mid January and then it doesn't on the 15th, it all falls apart. Um, and you think, oh, this was the person and it didn't work out. That's not it at all. Don't think that at all. Um, what's happening is 
they're getting you ready for the next thing. So if at the beginning of January, people start falling out of your life, um, goodness gracious, um, and they could be like certain, I don't know, friends, or I, I don't know. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but if something comes out of your life, if something falls away at the beginning of January, it's because they're setting you up for something better mid to late January, and especially in the beginning of that February time. Keep that in mind. Don't forget that. Um, and don't let the disappointment or the energy of whatever is going wrong take over into whatever could be going right for you. Okay, so I'm going to tell you again, um, late January to early February, and whatever happens between now and then is in preparation of. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Goodness gracious. Um, and thank you, everybody, for being here with me. I'm so grateful for everybody spending their time and energy with me. Um, I'm going to go to 262. 262, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hi, it's Amy. Just a second here. You got me? I got you, Amy. What's up? Hello? Hey, Amy. Oh, okay. Cool. Hi, Hi. it's Amy. I'm so excited. Yay. Um, what's going on? I'm always so excited when you call me. <laughs> I, I'm always so excited to have you on. <laughs> oh, um, so I yesterday had a little inspiration to ask you if you could ask my former um, professor from acupuncture graduate school, um, Dr. Barbara Kurt, um, just ask her if she has any words of advice for me and specifically with, you know, challenges with the position because um, I'm literally filling her shoes in some ways. And, you know, I don't know. I've shared some of the challenges and I'm not sure if she has any insider advice. Okay, so the biggest or commentary or anything. So yeah, so the biggest thing I want to say is um, the biggest thing I want to say is that um, she wants to say um, this. This is so ridiculous. I can't even believe I'm going to sing this song on air. Relax, go to it when you want to come to it. I I know those are not the words. No, I can do that. But relax. Um, yeah, just, just like stop stressing out. Yeah, yeah. and if you um, don't, okay, so um, don't pay attention to, don't worry, don't worry so much. You're not responsible for the behavior and actions of others. Only be accountable for your own your own actions and behaviors and don't allow others to ruffle your feathers. If your feathers ruffle, let it be like a peacock, not like a chicken with its head cut off. So don't run around trying to manage people who are not manageable. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And uh, I will be back Wednesday. This Wednesday, I will be back no matter how much everything is echoing in my head. <laughs> And I uh, will be back at noon central. So if you did not get through today, please come back Wednesday. 90. And I will be happy to um, answer your questions then. Um, again, have an amazing rest of the week. And we will chat on Wednesday. <clears throat> Thank you so much.